Welcome back to AgriBeats, friends. So today, our topic is about marketing or air layering, which is one among the methods in plant propagation. So there's a need for us to understand first a little bit of physiology and a little bit of botany so that we will know what we are doing with our plant to come up with a brand new plant or a brand new lemon plant as our example here. So what is the role of a cambium layer or tissues on air layering or the relationship of a seed to a brand new uh, plant versus a market to a brand new plant as modes of plant propagation? So tingnan po natin ang, uh, ang structure na ito. So this uh, uh, shows you the parts of a woody stem or a trunk of a tree. So the outer bark here is the tree's uh, protection from the outside world. So it regulates moisture in the tree system and also insulates against cold and heat and protects it from the insect uh, attacks. Now immediately after the outer bark is another layer which is thin also which is the phloem or your inner bark. So this is the pipeline through which food or photosynthate is passed to the rest of the tree system. So this leaves only, this phloem only leaves for a very short time then dies and turns to cork to become part of the protective outer bark. The next is your, this yellow line here, okay? So this is uh, your cambium cell layer immediately after the inner bark or the phloem. So this is thin, the cambium layer is thin and it is usually slimy. So uh, this is the growing part of the trunk. It annually produces new bark and new wood in response to hormones called auxins that pass down through the phloem with food produced from the leaves during photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Etong auxin na hormones, this stimulate growth in cells. So ang auxins natin ay produced by leaf buds at the tips of your branches. So nandun sila sa shoot tips, the most shoot tips. So as soon as the plants uh, start growing, these auxin hormones are also activated. Then next in the uh, layer or after the uh, your cambium layer is your xylem cell. The xylem cell actually is the sap wood. So this is the tree's pipeline also. So this, itong xylem na ito. So this is uh, a pipeline for water moving up to the leaves. So when water is absorbed from the roots, this will move through your xylem cells. So you can see the span of the xylem cells from the cambium layer up to the innermost part in the heartwood. So the sapwood is a new wood actually. So as new rings Okay, makikita po natin itong mga rings ng mga ito which indicates the age of your tree. So as new rings of sapwood are laid down, yung inner cells ng mga ito lose their vitality and then they turn to your heart wood. So let's learn a bit of uh, plant physiology. So what is cambium or cambia in plants? So this is a layer of actively dividing cells between the xylem or the wood and the phloem tissues. This is also a single layer of cells called initial cells, but they are collectively called as the cambium or cambial zone or cambium layer. And uh, etong cambial cells, they divide to produce secondary xylem cells na pupunta towards the central axis of the stem and yung secondary phloem cells towards naman sa outside to form part of the bark. So, ang um, cambium layer, uh, they may form within uh, callous tissues or masses of cells that grow over the injured surface of a wound leading to healing. So this is the main reason kung bakit natin tinatanggal ang cambium layer 
pa doon sa uh, or when we do marketing. So, cambium layer should be properly removed para yung adventitious roots, they can grow or develop on your market. Kasi kung hindi, kung hindi nyo tatanggalin ito, etong heal na ginawa ninyo, yung cuts na ginawa ninyo, this will heal again by joining both the ends of the cut and yung tubig will pass through once more and a new bark will develop or will be formed as well. So yung roots that ini-expect nyo na lalabas, hindi na ninyo siya makikita. So what is marketing or air layering? The terminology in plant propagation. Air layering is a simple way of propagating fruit trees from their branches. So it is a method actually or uh, in vegetative or asexual plant propagation when roots are induced to grow on a branch or stem. So in layering, the layering is a propagation method by which adventitious roots are induced to form on a stem while st still attached to the parent plant. So this air layering is one method in layering. There are other uh, methods in layering like root layering, serpentine layering, leaf uh, layering. So there are and several other layering methods. One, of course, is the marketing or air layering. So why do you do marketing or air layering? What's the reason why you do marketing or air layering on your trees? So a seed may be taken from a very good tree, uh, but producing a fruit from this new tree through that seed that you planted may not produce good fruits. Okay, so it is not true to type as agriculturists describe. So by marketing or by air layering a fruit tree, we can guarantee that it will produce fruits in a short while and the fruit will be of the same quality as the parent tree. But a seed that came from recombination of traits from two parents, when it grows and bear fruits, it can be observed that fruits exhibit some undesirable characteristics like a little bit sour, or bitter, or the fruits are small, or fibrous, okay, or not sweet enough, etc. So to do marketing and or I mean to to reduce or to remedy these characteristics, these uh, undesirable characteristics, you may need to clone by marketing or air layering. So you will. Uh, clone the exact characteristic of that uh, particular fruit tree that you wanted. And one reason, the main reason, of course, here is to reduce time. You do marketing or air layering to reduce time of juvenile stage, especially for perennials like our fruit trees. So in human beings, we also have this juvenile st stage, which is the teenage stage, so in fruit trees, you reduce this juvenile stage so that they will flower as soon as possible. And uh, this is also way, one way of reproduction uh, of a particular species of fruit tree if other means of propagation is not possible in such kind of your fruit tree. Now, when do you do when to do marketing or air layering? So when when will you do marketing? What is the time of the year that you will do air layering to your fruit trees? Do air layering or marketing any time of the year? Here in the Philippines, of course, and in other tropical countries, you can do marketing and during any time of the year except for those countries that have four seasons because like winter they cannot do anything because the trees are already dormant during the time so usually they do marketing or air layering during the spring time 
but for us here in the Philippines, any time of the year, when there are indications that you can do marketing or early layering on your fruit tree, it is when an active growth commences. Okay, when you see active growth evidences on your tree, on your fruit tree. So what are these um, indications? So when there are new shoots or flashes, we call these new shoots also flashes, when they are visible, then you know that the tree is actively growing. So that if you mark out the bark and cambium layer can easily part if you peel off the bark. And this indicates, of course, active growth indicates that nutrients and water are actively circulating in the plant's system. So during summer, when there is not enough water to, um, to irrigate our trees, there are no flushes or new shoots that are visible. Then the peel or the bark and the cambium layer are so tight. When you do marketing and peel of the bark, it's very difficult. So... Do not uh, do marketing in, during this period because you will just destroying your trees. So even during summer, if you have enough irrigation and your fruit trees are well irrigated, then your fruit trees are actually actively growing. Then there is a question how to do marketing or air layering. You prepare all materials that you need. Number one, of course, your propagation knives. So they may be grafting or budding knives. Then you can use pruning shear if uh, it warrants. Then you need a media where your roots will grow later on. Your, it may be choir dust, coconut choir dust. It may be sphagnum moss or tree moss. You need also clean and cut transparent cellophane and tying materials or uh, strings. So you need to select a good branch that represents a brand new marketing later on. And then here, you make two clean cuts around the branch 1.5 to 2 inches apart and peel off the bark only between the two cuts. Then you scrape off the cambium layer, place a handful of wet choir or sphagnum moss, Covering the whole cut, wrap with clear plastic cellophane, tie both ends with strings or any appropriate uh, tying materials that should be tying, not trying. So please correct this. This R should be out from here. Then after that, the last step is you, you need now to punch a, ho a few holes. Punch few holes on the wrap. To serve as aeration and uh, for water to seep through if the moss needs to or the media needs to absorb water. Examples of species of fruit trees that can be air layered are uh, most of citrus species like your oranges, tangelos, lemons, limes, grapefruits, pomelo, kumquats, and etc. But in citrus species, there is a better method of reproducing this aside from uh, marcotine because this is uh, through budding. So this kind of propagation, maybe we'll be discussing this in uh, my upcoming video. So please subscribe and ring the bell icon below for notifications. So in lemons, however, um, budding and marcotine are the most appropriate and uh, the fastest method of propagating them, especially kung wala kayong available na rootstocks. Then we have also pomegranates. You can mark out this, uh, lychees and longans, even your guavas, even star fruit. You have a custard apples, plum, and of course pear. Yes, you can mark out them. And there may be other fruit trees that uh, you know in your local area. So, for example, fruit trees in your local area is avocado or guayabano, the sour sop. So, for guayaban, I for uh, avocados, you can actually uh, mark out this. Uh, ang usually kasi na ginagawa natin sa avocado is uh, we plant, we get the uh, seeds after we eat the fruit, we plant the seeds. But you know, 
uh, later on, akala ninyo kasi, yung kinain ninyo na fruit, yung kinain ninyo na fruit ng avocado ay masarap, creamy, pero nung tinanim ninyo yung seed, aba eh, sasabihin ninyo bakit? Bakit ganito ang aking avocado? Hindi naman gaya nung kinain ko noon na makabalang flesh, creamy. So, as I said, as I have described before, ang seed is usually a result of recombination of traits from two different parents. Kaya, hindi mo makukuha exactly yung 100% na characteristic ng kinain mo na dating avocado fruit. And this also is very true in pomelos. Ang daming nagsasabi, bakit ang pomelo? Okay, ang kinain ko noon, masarap, matamis siya. Nung tinanim ko ang seed, nung namunga, ay mapait. Bakit? Bakit ganun ang nangyari? It's because nga, you planted the seed and most fruit trees are cross-pollinated. Uh, in cross-pollinations, ang daming uh, Uh, kung halo-halo yung mga pollen grains that have fertilized your uh, your fruit, the, your flowers. So, of course, yung mga traits naghalo-halo doon, okay? So, makikita natin, iba ang karakteristik ng uh, fruit ng seed, ng seed na tinanim nyo doon sa parent, uh, parent fruit. 